AI race and the AI war between US and China, I think is one of the most important issues of today. We took out a full page ad on the Washington Post on on Tuesday uh, saying that, you know, America must win the AI war, that we're actually on a track towards super intelligence or AGI, then it stands to reason that that's going to go to a trillion dollars or more. Soon, the world's leading AI superpower will no longer be the United States. The balance of technological dominance is shifting, not decades from now, but in just a few short years. Because according to Alexander Wang, the CEO of Scale AI, China is moving much faster than most Americans realize. And right now, behind closed doors in Beijing, Shanghai and Shenzhen, a quiet AI revolution is unfolding. Two weeks ago, CNBC sat down with Wang, to discuss the AI arms race between the US and China. His insights, alarming. Because while Silicon Valley enjoys the spotlight, China is rapidly building its own AI titans without the kind of resources, data access, or cutting edge chips that US tech giants take for granted. The US has long been considered the undisputed leader in artificial intelligence with open AI Google DeepMind and Anthropic pushing boundaries. It seems like no one could catch up. But what if they already have? Wang warns that China has been working efficiently with limited access to advanced semiconductor technology, yet still achieving remarkable progress. Just look at DeepSeek, the Chinese AILLM model that has recently shaken up the industry. Despite restrictions on high performance chips, DeepSeek has managed to rival Western AI models leveraging an optimized approach to data processing and model training. And they're already seeing results. DeepSeek V2 was trained on 7 trillion tokens and boasts 300 billion parameters, placing it on par with GPT-4. What makes this particularly striking is the cost efficiency. OpenAI, Google and Anthropic burn through hundreds of millions of dollars training models at this scale, reliant on NVIDIA's high-end GPUs. DeepSeek's reported training cost less than $10 million. If China can develop GPT-4 level AI for a fraction of the cost, it challenges the assumption that AI progress requires Western scale investment. This shift is greatly influencing investor sentiment, and understandably so. Why should companies pour billions into NVIDIA's H100s if China is proving it can train cutting-edge models at a fraction of the cost? Another layer to this equation is that China has already amassed an estimated 50,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs, despite the US government's export restrictions, as estimated by the Scale AI CEO. China is much further ahead than most people think. They have been incredibly resourceful in making AI progress with what they have, Wang explained during the CNBC interview. If the US isn't careful, we could wake up one day and realize we've fallen behind. This means that even with restrictions on high-performance semiconductors, China has developed a way to train powerful AI models at scale. If they're already creating AI models on par with OpenAI's GPT with these constraints, what happens when those restrictions are lifted? For years, many assumed China's AI capabilities were hobbled by US sanctions. Without access to NVIDIA's most advanced chips, China's AI progress was supposed to be slow, limited, lagging behind. But China's AI is moving forward fast. Wang highlights an uncomfortable reality. China's semiconductor technology isn't as weak as many believe. During his CNBC interview, he pointed out that Chinese companies have figured out how to extract more power from older generation chips, squeezing out performance in ways the US never considered. They've developed techniques to maximize efficiency, Wang said. They are getting more out of lower end chips than we thought was possible. The gap isn't as big as we assumed. If they're this competitive now, where will they be in five years? And what does this mean for the future? Some experts believe that China's AI progress is overblown, that while they are catching up, the US still holds a clear advantage. They argue that China's lack of access to cutting edge semiconductor technology will eventually create a ceiling that its AI models cannot break through. Simply because AI models especially at the scale of GPT-4 or beyond, require enormous computational power, power that comes from the latest GPUs, such as NVIDIA's H100 
and A100, or custom AI accelerators developed by companies like Google, TPUs. And since US sanctions have blocked China from acquiring these top-tier chips, its ability to scale models to the same level as OpenAI or DeepMind is limited. While China has inarguably managed to squeeze more performance out of older generation chips, experts argue that there is still a hard limit to how much optimization can compensate for raw computing power. And as AI models become more sophisticated, training them requires exponentially more computing resources. Then there's also the issue of software. Much of the cutting-edge AI research is built on US-dominated software stacks, such as PyTorch and TensorFlow. So while China is developing its own alternatives, the lack of access to proprietary software tools could create additional inefficiencies. But don't get too comfortable. Critics of this argument point out that China has a history of overcoming technological bottlenecks. A prime example of this is how the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMEC, successfully developed a 7 nanometer chip in 2022, despite heavy US sanctions blocking China's access to the most advanced semiconductor manufacturing equipment. This unexpected leap illustrated how China could advance its chip fabrication technology even without access to ASML's extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, which are critical for cutting-edge chip production. Instead, they used older deep ultraviolet DUV lithography techniques, refining them to produce chips more advanced than expected. The tech industry was left shell-shocked, to say the least. Another example is the Sunway Ocean Light and Tianhe 3 supercomputers. China was previously seen as dependent on Western processors for its supercomputers, but in 2021, it developed these two exascale supercomputers using only domestically designed chips. Again, US sanctions had banned exports of high performance chips, like Intel's Xeon processors to China. And what did China do? It innovated its own HPC, high-performance computing architecture, and successfully built some of the fastest supercomputers in the world. Not only that, but if we go a bit further back in time, the US banned China from participating in the International Space Station, ISS, through the Wolf Amendment in 2011. And China responded by building its own Tiangong Space Station. Launched in 2021 and fully operational by 2022, Tiangong is a self-sustaining space station that rivals the ISS. While it started as a necessity due to US restrictions, China has now gained complete independence in human spaceflight. All in all, it really shouldn't be surprising that Chinese AI firms have managed to cluster thousands of older chips together to simulate the power of high-end processors. Companies like Huawei have also developed their own AI chips, such as the Ascend series, which of course are not as powerful as NVIDIA's latest offerings, but still provide significant computational capacity. Alexander Wang warns that underestimating China is a mistake. The country has a long history of making the most of what they have. And if they can push AI models this far without top tier hardware, what happens when they gain access to it? It's not just about the chips, Wang emphasized. China has the talent, the data and the willpower to push AI forward at an aggressive pace. We need to take this seriously. And let's not forget, this AI race isn't just about speed, it's about application. China has no hesitation in deploying AI in industries like defense, surveillance and autonomous decision making. The country has already integrated AI into state-run systems at a scale that far exceeds the West. Could this be the moment when the US realizes it's falling behind? Now, we know. This is exactly why projects like Stargate exist. In our last video, we talked about Microsoft, OpenAI, and the rumored $500 billion Stargate initiative, a mega-scale AI infrastructure project designed to keep the US ahead in AI development. Satya Nadella, Microsoft's CEO, made it clear they're willing to invest billions into securing AI dominance. But the question remains, will that be enough? The Chinese government is not only funding AI research at an unprecedented scale, but it's also embedding AI deeper into its national strategy. Unlike the US, where companies like OpenAI and Google operate independently, China's AI development is directly aligned with state interests.
The Chinese government has recognized AI as a pillar of national security, economic growth, and geopolitical influence. Unlike the decentralized, free market-driven AI race in the US, China's AI development is guided by central government policies, funding, and long-term strategic goals. In 2017, China's State Council unveiled the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, which laid out a roadmap to make China the global leader in AI by 2030. To support this vision, Beijing has invested tens of billions of dollars into AI research, infrastructure, and talent development. Many of China's leading AI companies, such as Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, BAT, SenseTime, Megvi, iFlyTech, and Huawei, receive direct government funding, policy support, and regulatory advantages. Unlike in the US, where AI firms operate independently and are occasionally at odds with government policies, Chinese companies often work in tandem with the state. For them, the race to AGIE, aka machines that can think and reason at a human level, isn't just a corporate goal, it's a national priority. If the US government doesn't step up its AI investments, we are at serious risk of losing this race. Wang warned, China is playing the long game and they are incredibly disciplined in their approach. What happens if the US slows down just enough for China to take the lead? Will initiatives like Stargate keep America at the forefront? Or are we about to witness a shift in technological power that could redefine the global order? One thing is certain, this AI race isn't just about which country builds the smartest algorithm. It's about who shapes the future of intelligence itself.